down, man. Suitcase this, my cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you, you gon' leave airlifted. Everybody already know, K Frog TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see it first. Double check your bell, make sure it's placed on all, not personalized. That way you can get notified anytime a video is, you know, uploaded. All right, so today I'm gonna be speaking on the keys to success. You know, me, I'm not no angel. You know, I don't have a straight, clear background as far as, you know, criminal activity, never been arrested, things like that. Me, I came from the bottom and I done made my way up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna be breaking it down the things that I do, you know, in order to succeed and the things that I feel like is a perfect strategy for others to make it through as well. First thing that you wanna do is you always do what is best for you. Whatever your gut tells you to do, whatever your first instinct is to go for, that's the number one thing that you wanna do. Follow what you believe in, okay? No matter how many people doubt what it is that you see, as long as you believe in your vision, you can overcome it and make it your reality, all right? Your thoughts are your fruit, is basically what I'm trying to say. Whatever you thinking and whatever your thoughts may be, nine times out of 10, that can happen. All right. So, of course, you always want to do what is best for you. If someone does something, you know, out of pocket and they want to go this way with it, but you feel like this is the right way to go, you do it. All right. And another thing, as far as, you know, when it comes to getting money and stuff like that, everybody is so quick to try to find the quickest way to get a quick dollar. Everyone's always out for the quickest dollar. That is good, of course, when you got money coming in. But the quickest route isn't always the best route to go with. You know what I'm saying? Slow paper is better than fast paper. That fast money, it gets, it goes too quick. It's hard to pace it. You understand? You know, so slow paper is always the best route and the best way to get your income. Me personally, I try to do what I have to do. Stay out of the way. Don't try to, you know, follow the path of what anyone else has going on. And I, I've seen nothing but doors opening. All right. When people want to follow another man's path, or, you know, be worried about the next man's pockets and try to do what that man's doing, you know. Yeah, it can be done. Not saying that you can't make money the same way someone else is, but you can actually make more money being the first of doing it the way that you decided to do it. You understand? So as long as you put your mind to it and you decide to follow what you believe in, you'll be straight. That's, that's basically, you know, me personally, I see so many different peoples with channels. I see so many different people, you know, on the streets that, you know, how, whatever their hustles are and stuff like that. Me, I'm, 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 I take my own route. That's how I've always been. And I've actually got farthest in life like that. It helped me out. It'll help anyone else out. Don't ever settle for less. If you feel like you can make, let's throw crazy numbers out there. Say you feel like you can make a hundred bands, a hundred bands in two months. And then you eventually start making 100 bands in two months. You know what's next? You don't just settle for that. Even though that is damn good, awesome money. You don't just settle for that. Now you shoot to make 200 bands. You see what I'm saying? There's always different ways. More sources of income, the better. You know, some people want to live off strictly YouTube. Some people want to live off just working. Some people want to, you know, live off of hustles. Whatever it may be, it is always good to have four or five different ways of reeling in money. That way you're not spending the money before you get it. You know what I'm saying? Your bills are about to be due and you're about to get paid. So you're basically living month to month. You feel me? Instead, you do what's best for you. A lot of things that are actually best for you are hard to accept. As far as like, it'll be a step in life to where you won't want to do it. You'll feel like it's pointless or it'll actually make you sacrifice something else. But it's also going to be the best step you make in life. All right. Like, let's say you want to do, take up a career. But when you want to take up this career, you know, they want to after, you know, you got to go to school. So when you go to school, that gives you less time with your kids. Now, when you get out of school, OK, so you sacrifice time with your children because of school. All right. Now, when you get out of school for your career, they want to send you to training in a different state for a six month program. Now, you, you ain't got as much time to spend with your old lady. You know what I'm saying? The love of your life. If she loves you, she'll understand. You get what I'm saying? She, there's nothing that y'all shouldn't be able to overcome, you know, but it feels like you're sacrificing one thing for another. But that thing that you were doing it for is the best thing for you. You got to think long term. Yeah, when you're younger and you get money, whether it's hustling, 
whether you know whether you sold whatever work. it is you may have did for your money whether you worked a nine to five okay i always had it in my mind just like my old boy my old boy said son i don't want to be rich i just want to have enough money to pay my bills that's how my old boy looked at it and that's what that's how he raised me i don't care to be rich or not the more i have than my bills great and through that strategy that my old boy you know put in my head at a young age i'm living great I have way more than my bills is worth. You understand? So if you find a certain strategy, you know, you stick to it, okay? If you have the opportunity to go back to school, do it. If you have the opportunity to start a career, go for it. Whatever it is, okay? You know how they say work hard, play harder? No. To me, I feel like 15 years down the line from now, how many people who are out here just partying, 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 partying are going to have it set? Is it going to be them or is it going to be the people that, you know, partied for a little bit and then put that partying on the back burner and decided to take a career up? The ones that went back to school, the ones that got something out of everything they're doing. Them are going to be the ones that have something to show for it. Yeah, it sucks. You're, you're, you're sacrificing time with your friends, your homeboys, your homegirls, whoever it may be. You can't go out and party. That's all you hear when you call home. But you can't do that because you're over here in a different state in a dorm going to school. Right? But then now, 10, 15 years down the line, who's going to be the one that is stably ready? Who is stably set and who is fit and who can live life with no worries? That one person who took that time to sacrifice that hanging out. You understand? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, oh, ain't no partying or nothing, you know, like as soon as you get out of damn high school, you know, just go straight to a career. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can you could do it in between, but it's always good to do what is best for you. You hanging out, going to parties and stuff like that, it's fun. You feel me? It, it, it's fun. You get what I'm saying? But you don't need that in life. You want that. There's a big difference from when you want something or you need something. So, of course, you got to do what you would need. Your future is going to need money. Your future is going to need benefits. If you have kids, they're going to need money and, you know, be stable and stuff like that. If you, get, if you have kids at a young age, you know, you might want to think of, you know, opening up a bank account, you know. Down here, we call it Florida prepaid, where you, where, you, where you start dropping money in there and you pay off your kids college tuition up to four years then you could do eight years if you want whatever it is you may want to do you can do that little by little you feel me but it's always good to plant them seeds and start somewhere because when you have children you are the one who basically sets how their life is going to start to turn out they're going to have to do the same thing down the line when they have children but you are here to plant your feet and leave a mark on this earth for your children to always remember. So what you want to do is whatever you feel is best for you, whether you like it or not. Like a lot of people don't want to, you know, put the bottles down, you know, give up the smoking and all this different stuff, you know, but that's what you will have to do. If you want to become a firefighter or if you want to, you know, you ain't got no criminal background, you want to start going to cool to be a, uh, I mean, go to school to be a surgeon or whatever it is you may have to do. There's certain things you're going to have to sacrifice. Having it made and a, a great future is basically majority based on getting done what needs to be done. And it's going to be decisions that you don't want to agree with because you're going to have to sacrifice is basically what I'm saying. So to me, I feel like do what's best for you. Me, if I could rewind time and never landed in prison, I never would have landed in prison because I look at things different now from than I did before. I try to do some positive shit. I try to move on positive messages. Even though I'm not all, you know, peaches and cream, shit ain't sweet over here. My heart don't pump no Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't pussy. Let's put it out there like, but at the same time, you got to think of your little ones. Because, like I said in prior videos, your little ones look at you like you a superhero. They look at you like you the man. No one in the world is stronger. No one in the world is more powerful than a parent to these kids. So, do what's best for you because whatever you do reflects on them. Whether you know it or not. Even if they don't live with you. If they live with a different family member or live with the other parent or whatever it may be. It still reflects on you and them 
You think, oh, what's best for them is them being at the grandma's house. Or what's best for them, oh, they're living at the mom's. That's what's best for them. Okay, well, you start doing what's best for you. Therefore, you can make it to where y'all can reunite. You get what I'm saying? I'm not no preacher or nothing. Like I said, my background speaks for itself. I done did ratchet shit my whole life. That's all I ever knew. But my strategy is stay in my own lane. I stay in my own lane, worry about my own damn pockets. I ain't got time to be sweating no one else's pockets. I ain't got time to be worrying about who gets what, how much they get, because there's enough food out here and enough money for every single person to eat. And that's facts. Like you can't really get money worrying about the next person that's making money, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all a story one time. I had a homeboy who was a mean hustler. You get what I'm saying? I've always been a hustler my whole life. No matter where you put me, fraud will make a way. You could put me in Alaska in an igloo. You could lock me up in Alaska in an igloo. I guarantee you fraud gets cell phones. It doesn't matter where you put me, frog's gonna make a way, okay? But I had a homeboy who was just like me. He was a heavy hustler, you know? And you know what he used to always want me to do? He used to always want me to come chill with him at his crib. Come there and just post up and vibe with him all day as I see his licks coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. You know what I'm saying? You know what I told him? I can't make no money sitting here watching you make money all day. You see what I'm saying? I cannot sit here all day and watch you bust licks, make plays all day. How I'm going to make money then? I got to do my own thing too, bro. Sorry we ain't got the time to kick it. I'm not one of these people that want to sit around and watch money be made by someone all day. I want to make money myself. You know, and he respected that. He was an older dude. You know, he 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 showed me a lot in the game. You know what I'm saying? And he respected that. He was like, man, that's the that's one of the realest shit I heard from one of you young bucks. And I'm like, that's what it is, though. That's how I feel. How I'm gonna sit here and make money, sitting in your yard playing video games and shit, watching you make money all day. You know, you always gotta do what you gotta do that's best for you. You know, and you'll see how much farther you end up going. How much farther you end up. How, how big is the risk you're willing to take? No matter what it is, as long as you got that goal in your head, no one can take it from you. It doesn't matter if the odds are one to 500. You have 500 people who are doubting you and you in your mind feel like, no, this is what it is. This is what I'm gonna be. This is what I'm gonna make happen. I guarantee you it can happen. That's simple, you know? Let's uh, look at Dr. Seuss for instance. Everyone knows Dr. Seuss that wrote books and all that stuff like that or whatever. Look at him. Okay, he's a perfect example. Did y'all know that for the longest they wanted him to change his name before his books blew up? They wanted him to change his name. They didn't. They told him Dr. Seuss ain't going to go nowhere with his books. Look at him now. The whole world knows who Dr. Seuss is. Okay, because he had that vision in his head. You see, he believed in himself. Because you believing in yourself is the damn fuel to the motivation you got to look past the doubts people are going to doubt you regardless you know i could drop positive videos every single day and i'm still going to have people that doubt me and hit the dislike video the dislikes on the video it is what it is you can't make everyone happy i done said that shit a hundred times but me i'm my own motivation no one else is my motivation can't no one take this smile from me can't no one you know make me feel down not even the damn prison system as y'all seen them K-Fraud TV videos, I was in there hanging out, having fun. Yeah, some days suck and it was down and bad and, it's, and I'd never want to go back again. But at the same time, everywhere I went, I kept this smile. You feel me? That's what made me dangerous because not only can I interact and participate in some violent activity, but I keep a smile on my face 24 seven, you see? And that's just me because in my mind, I'm my own motivation, my own fuel. You know what I'm saying? So the perfect strategy is to just do what you feel is what needs to be done. Don't be scared to take that step. A lot of people have it in their minds plenty of times of what they wanna do next with their next step. Do they wanna go back to school? Do they wanna start this career? Do they wanna, you know, whatever it is, there's so many different things that people get in their head as an idea that they ignore. But that thing you're ignoring can be the next best thing in your life, all right? And like, take it from me, I came from nothing, okay? I blew up off of going to prison. I had to go to prison, the worst place in the world in order to get a voice, 
You see what I'm saying? And now I come on here and I love when I get messages from the younger crowd saying, Frog, what you're saying is true, bro. I stay inside. Nah, I done went back to school. I done did this. I love doing that because to me, that's who it's about. It's definitely about the younger people. All right. I could come on here and speak about prison 24 seven, which yeah, I do because it's a prison channel, but I will not stop trying to enlighten the younger crowd. That's just me though. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm different, you know, and just cause I'm on this positive stuff doesn't mean that I won't protect myself and mine if I ever have to, you know, and you never know what the future holds. You get what I'm saying? But I would never fall victim to some crash dummy shit and wreck out over some people that are just shit eaters that are nobodies, that have nothing going on for their life, that are gonna be in the same spot they've been in for the last 10 years in 10 more years. You see what I'm saying? I would never, you know, risk what I got going on for some nobodies, you know? And when you know what you're capable of and you know how you're living, you don't have to put that message out there 24 seven. You see what I'm saying? That's why when y'all see when I spit that real shit, that real spill and I break it down, that real spill, Okay, when I put that out there, y'all also see I put them positive messages out there also. Why? Because I could be the positive person and put out that real deal pressure shit because I know it's in me. You see what I'm saying? You can't make something that is real look fake, but you can make something that is fake as hell look real and it not be. And everything that shines is in gold. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, stick to the game plan, man. This right here is just a straight positive message for anybody who has any thoughts in their mind of something that they may want to do to better themselves. If you feel it will better yourself, do it. That's simple. And whoever loves you, who is ever in your circle, whoever you're surrounded by, if they are against it, they're not for you. Even though that, that's a hard pill to swallow and understand, but it is what it is. Because nobody would want to be with someone that they don't want to see do great. You understand? The person who is your partner in life, or whether it's your families, like your, your parents, or whoever it may be, your friends, anyone who don't want you to do better isn't for you. You understand? That means that they're either keeping you around for the attention, they're either just hanging out with you to kill time, they don't want to be bored on their own, so they feel like they'll hang out with you, they feel like they're better than you. There's a whole list of different things it can be. But if you literally find someone who doesn't want better for you, just sit back and vision that. If, you're, if you break down something that you know is good, I'm going to go right here, I'm going to start at square one, I'm going to get my GED. Then after I get my GED, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to enroll in this trade school. Then after this trade school, it's going to give me a career. I'm going to go here, do that, do that. And then next thing you know, your, your loved one or whoever you're dating tries to sidetrack you. Makes you feel like that ain't worth it. Don't want to help you do it or nothing like that. That shows that person ain't for you. They don't want to see you succeed. So fuck what everybody got going on out there, you know, because other people are succeeding. And you don't want to miss your chance. Because you're only getting older. There isn't no getting younger. So you want to make sure you stay on top of it. No matter what you do, just remember it is never too late to go back to school. Okay? It doesn't matter how old you are. You can always go back to school and then hopefully you know if you want to change your life around whether you was an addict on the streets you know what i'm saying and you was hooked on drugs and stuff like that it ain't never too late for you to get clean you may always have them addict you know mentality in your head you know and always be thinking about your next fix or whatever and always think about relapsing and stuff like that but you don't have to you get what i'm saying you put your mind to it you don't have to and i know it's harder you know done than said you feel what I'm saying? Coming from someone who's never been on that side of the gate. You feel me? But you can be strong and overcome it, especially if you have kids. That's the number one thing that should help you overcome that. You should look at that and be like, damn, when I'm dead and gone, do I want them to be living like this? When I'm not here, do I want them to not have nothing? No, nah, you should make it to where they want to take care of you when you're older. You took care of them when they were younger. Their whole life, you took care of them. You was a parent. Now, when you get older and you need to be taken care of, your family and your kids are going to return that favor and take care of you and hold on to you as long as they can until it's time for you to say goodbye. But you can't do that 
and your kids will not be up for that if you weren't there for them. If you didn't set them a good future, you know, or at least try. Show them you tried. Don't throw in the towel and give up and fall victim to drugs or fall victim and go back to the streets and start selling work or, you know what I'm saying, or fall victim and keep jumping in and out of prison, in and out of prison. Me, I chose not to do that. Regardless of how hood I am and how gangsta I know I can get and all the ratchet shit I do, I chose not to go back to prison. Why? Because who in their right fucking mind would want to keep living in that? Because, yeah, I had fun, but not every single day was fun. Sometimes we're rougher than the others. You know, some, I still hated it. You got to wake up with the same, with nothing but dudes. You know what I'm saying? People piss, all you smell is piss. People farting, share a toilet with someone, a bedroom. You got to shit and eat in the same room. You know what I'm saying? Share rolls of toilet paper. There's just certain things that you shouldn't have to go through in life. You feel me? And doing whatever is best for you is going to keep you from going down that direction. Okay. Like I said, I hope this message right here at least, you know, gets the attention of someone. All right. I'm not this. I'm not no damn hypocrite. It's not like I'm telling you this and I've been and I never changed nothing in my life because y'all are seeing it from your own eyes that it can happen. If old piece of shit K-Frog can do it, someone else can do it. That's simple.